My name is Stanley Ingerman. I'm 66 years old. I have peripheral vascular disease. The hospital that I was going to decided they didn't know what to do with me anymore. <laughs> I had had several operations and the artery in my right leg shut down again, clotted. And I went in and they essentially told me, we've done everything we know how to do. We're gonna send you to Stanford. How you doing? As an academic vascular center, we take care of patients with abdominal aortic aneurysm disease, carotid artery disease, venous disease, and peripheral arterial ischemia, which is blockages of the arteries in, uh, in any locations. For arterial disease, the biggest contributor is still smoking, smoking and diabetes. So Mr. Ingerman is a patient with smoking history who has had peripheral arterial disease for quite a number of years. He had originally been treated with a surgical bypass and over the ensuing seven or eight years had multiple procedures to maintain the circulation in his right leg. We evaluated him, identified a long segment blockage, severe compromise to a circulation to a degree that we know that his risk of amputation was significantly high if we didn't do something. Going to Stanford, just the reputation of the, of the hospital and the school was enough to put me at ease. My impression of Dr. Mel was that the man was great bedside manner, explained fully what he intended to do, made sure that there was no doubts in my mind about what was going to happen, made me very comfortable. So this is a CT angiogram of Mr. Ingerman. This is his right leg and this is his left leg. The left leg, the circulation is normal. On the right leg, the main artery from the groin, which is here, to the knee, which is here, is completely gone. There's no circulation at all. So in order to improve the circulation to his lower leg and his foot, we took a vein from this side and plugged it into the artery right here in the groin, and then plugged it into the artery down here below the knee so that blood could now travel through our new conduit and into the foot. The hospital had me on my feet and walking the next day. And after I got home, I started a regimen of walking for 10 to 15 minutes after every meal and expanded that by five minutes a day until I got up to a half hour. And then I started going outside. By having a successful revascularization, his symptoms have now resolved. He's able to walk as, as much as he could beforehand uh, without pain, and he has no limitations to his uh, activities of daily living and his uh, risk of amputation has been markedly diminished uh, by the fact that his circulation has been restored. It's been a real learning experience having this happen to me. At the time that the original clot took place, I was pre-diabetic, I was overweight. Now I walk 35 miles a week. <laughs> I watch the foods that I eat. It was a wake-up call. I'm much more aware of what my body feels like and my health from day to day.